Hey guys, it's me Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode nine of season three of Laid Back Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Mm hmm Definitely watch your stop. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> excuse me see that's like now it's only 12 24 and i feel like it's almost like 1 30 
Okay, but she is a high school student. Oh, that looks good. No. And mainly for the real reason that I think I feel like it feels like it's one o'clock is because I'm just super excited for Santa Play today. But regardless, it just feels like because time just feels weird and different though. And normally, because sometimes I wake up around one o'clock in the afternoon, and I've been up technically since like nine thirty. Odd, but very pretty though. Beautiful in its own way, you know? Oh. <laughs> I would go. Please and thank you. I never would have thought that they would have had him as a reference. <laughs> I mean, he is kind of considerably America's sweetheart, so. <laughs> oh, gotta love Keanu Reeves. I, I, you know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even say that either, because I really. I am not into bitter stuff. Like, I, okay, so I, I drink coffee, iced coffee, just as much as anybody else does on the regular. And I, so, okay, I go to Dunkin' Donuts, right? And I will always get a French vanilla um, iced latte. One day I had it, and it was super bitter. Like, Ugh! And, and I'm like, no. So every time I go, I'm like, can you add extra sugar, I mean sugar, and, and just make it sweeter and hallelujah. Hi.
Oh my god. <laughs> ah, spaghetti. Oh, that looks so good. Mm. Yeah, yummy. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh, Jesus. Kirby, what's up? Yeah, I mean, that'd be really fun. Oh, uh, well, we just eat you. Yep, mm hmm. There's the Kirby. <gasps> <laughs> All right, enjoy that walk, girl. <laughs> That's her pretty cure skills coming in. <laughs> Mallet golf? Golf with a mallet? It had to be. Mm hmm. I'm loving the fact that these two, we're, we're literally getting these two in an episode together because I've missed their dynamic together. So it just warms my heart to see these two together. Because I get it. Her sister's not really like a main character. She's more of like a supporting role type character. So anytime when we get to have an episode where she gets to get a focus, 10 out of 10.
right? It's beautiful. April 1st. What a butt hair! <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, no, Vin! Oh. She's me, because I've done that too. Hell, I did that this morning! Because, <laughs> oh, okay, so I was supposed to record some stuff last night, right? And. Um, Obviously, because you see, same shirt and everything. I fell asleep, and I was like, what happened? <laughs> so now, I, I'm trying to get all this stuff done today. That's beautiful, oh my god! Uh, right? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I did the same thing too, babe. Just get your itch done. This is pretty. Oh, now I want to lay down and like so bad. Just relax. <laughs> yeah, for safety reasons. You are right about that, babe. So definitely ask her. I mean, y'all are technically girlfriends, so. Oh. Hmm.
Mm-hmm. Hey, determination, you know. <laughs> Probably so, because, I mean, because <laughs> how fast she went up them damn stairs, like, girl. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. Honestly, this episode went by really fast. I mean, I, I, like, once it got to the 20-minute mark, I was like, damn, we're almost done with this episode. Like, oh, my God. But, I, and I hate that because it goes by so freaking quickly. And I'm just like, yeah, we're going to get more. And such. So that's how I currently just felt with one of the shows that I was watching um, about, like, almost an hour ago. And each episode is, like, an hour long and such. But because you're so immersed into the show and the episode and everything, when you get to the last freaking few minutes of the episode and then you're realizing, like, oh, shit, it's almost over. It, God, it, it's just, like, it's a blessing and a curse. But, no, I love the fact that not only did we get Rin Solo, but Kirby and her sister hanging out together. I really enjoyed that impact and stuff. As I said, yes, Kirby's sister is more of a supporting role in this show. She's not a main character and such, so... Having episodes where she does get a focus is really sweet, and I truly, like, love that a lot because seeing their dynamic as sisters and them hanging out is really cool, and I love that because sometimes 9 out of 10 in the sub- Ugh, I, I bit my tongue. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> in some animes, especially if there is a, um, a brother- or sister to the opposite main character. Nine out of ten, that brother or sister does not get that quote unquote focus. It's too much really want them to because I'm like, yes, I get it. They're just as important, but they're not really as important to the story wise. So like, you know, whenever they get the moment, they they just pop in sometimes, and I always don't really like that. It's almost like. You're screwing the character over, in my opinion. That's just me. But I do love the fact that, yes, her sister got to have speaking roles and such. I mean, hell, she even got that in the movie, and I really enjoyed that a lot, too. Because she is one of my personal favorite characters, besides, like, Kirby and everyone else. But, no, this was a really enjoyable episode. Very sweet and lovely and such. I hate the fact that it's already over, because I want more. But I cannot wait until next week, until we get into more into our Cherry Blossom camping ask. Um, hopefully that does ensure that, like, Kirby's sister, their teacher, and then maybe the two characters that Rin met today, you know, possibly they all meet up and such. But even as Rin was talking about Kirby on a bike, I, I think if Kirby really wanted to put the pedal to the metal and be determined as heck, she could do it. Definitely. This is Nadeshko we're talking about, for Christ's sake. So, Nadeshko could definitely do about a good mile, or miles, if she really, like, deadass wanted to. But, you know, <laughs> she's curvy. <laughs> she could do anything, regardless. But, you know, there might be a moment. She has to always go, like, let's say every 20 or 30 miles, she's got to get something to eat. She's like, I got to replenish my energy. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is our reaction to towards episode 9 of season 3 of Laid Back Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Match Squad, of course. I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.